as I take a deep breath on this cold, quiet, calm midwinter's night overlooking the West Coast, overlooking the Pacific Ocean on the West Coast, North American continent. I feel the cooling coming over my head, coming over my body as the Lyran energies, the Lyran and the Pleiadian energies hit me. And as the Looney Lyran gets the download from his Lyran cosmonauts, his Lyran sister cosmonauts, Playa and Menorah, up on the ship, watching over from afar, but close. I'm reminded that it's never, you can never too often remind people to think from their heart center, to get out of their ego mind, their judgmental mind, and just think purely from their heart center. That doesn't mean be a doormat, that doesn't mean be walked over, it just means use, use no judgment and at the same time have your eyes wide open to everything. You balance it, it's the middle. You're not thinking completely out of sympathy mode, out of your heart. You're thinking with art, empathy, heart center. You're not completely up into your ego or judgment mind, but a little bit of your mind is balancing that heart, forming the heart center, where you embrace the thoughts of loving and all knowingness and consciousness, and really listening to your fellow man when you're in a conversation it's, it is real easy for us sometimes to try to understand where people are coming from and tell them, yeah, we understand. And it's even easy to have a little bit of empathy for them. But when you, when you get completely into your heart center, you can really see it through their eyes. And by seeing it through their eyes, whether their actions are right or wrong by earth standards or whatever they did was of something in your judgment mind you might not particularly care for or do. Those thoughts fade away as you can see completely where they're coming from and use that to make your decision. And when we act out of our heart center like that, we become closer to oneness with each other, the oneness of understanding, and therefore that understanding rubs off on the collective around us. And by doing that, by seeing completely where others are coming from in any moment that you may be involved in any sort of physical 3D interaction with them, you get that back from the collective, collective fold. You get that understanding built back towards you. And therefore, it just attriculates and feeds off each other in a loving, positive way when we all realize at our heart center that we are all of oneness. All of our issues that we have individually are all the issues that we have as a collective. All the successes, joy, and spiritual enlightenment, enlightenment that we receive or that we portray is a reflective of the collective. And as the Looney Lyran takes another breath, <sighs> the Looney Lyran is looking at this time at five years in Earth's past, as well as 10 to 15 years in Earth's future. When we think about the huge wave of people starting to awaken in late 2010 with various phases coming early 2011 some in 2012 others late 2013 early 2014 and so on we look at the years 2010 to 2014 has that awakening in steps of various groups of the collective leader star seeds star seed light workers that were chosen for a mission awaken at these times the newer the, the the newer ones to awaken 
have it happen to them faster and furious. They have it happen over a quicker period of time. The downloads get quicker and quicker and quicker for each class, if you want to call it that, that awakens. We come to 2015. 2015 was kind of a year of inventory, harsh energies. You know, um, things coming to the forefront. Really starting on that groove is coming together as a collective, even though there were so many turbulent energy shifts. So much drama put in our lives through the matrix, as you would call it. We made it through 2015. Here we are in 2016. The Looney Lyran, and this is just how the Looney Lyran sees it. The Looney Lyran sees it as a year of knowing which direction we're going to be headed in afterward. We have got so many things going on in this year. Just the energy and the vibe around the world. Forget the 3D things like a U.S. presidential election or the Olympics or that it's a leap year. Although those things are all part of this that play into the direction that humanity is taking, believe it or not. As we get through 2016, we enter an era of knowing where we want to go. It's just a matter of putting it into a uh, put it into play. As we start in 2017, we have all the tools we need because 2016 will be a year of a lot of personal growth for a lot of the collective star seeds that have gotten to know each other and work together through mediums such as Facebook, Skype, Google+, Twitter, and various other social mediums. 2016 is the year that a lot of these individual star seeds start to see their their path come into clearer fruition as it combines 3D career realities, 3D mission realities with their multidimensional missions and consciousness. And that as we take that going into 2016, we come into a window. We come into a window of working on humanity awakening. We work on this through the rest of the decade, towards the end of the decade. We start to see more and more terms like starseed, lightworker, Lyran, Pleiades, Pleiadians, Arcturians, Syrians, indigo children, blu rays, crystal children, rainbows, what have you. We will start to see that come more into the mainstream as far as underground mainstream, but yet something that more and more of the collective will know and embrace. As I see us going through the early 2020s, keeping in mind that that decade will produce more technological advances and consciousness breakthroughs than the entire 150 years of the Industrial Revolution before us. The Looney Lyran sees it really coming to the fruition of the mainstream and being more a part of how humanity collects business in general or does business in general. Humanity will become a very, they will start on that path to becoming a very responsive Instead of reactive society, we will take the mindset of our brother's helper, not our brother's keeper. We will engage in empathy, not sympathy, for all our fellow brothers and star sister goddesses on earth. As we focus through the transition of 2025 and move into the rest of the decade of the 20s, we start to practice this as humanity, as a collective, as a whole. We start to embrace and become what we were always destined to become, which is the great light beings that we are, the great all-loving, all-knowing, conscious, perfect, angelic light beings that we are, chakras wide open, DNA strands activating more and more by the day, clearing up the fog, clearing up the haze, 
moving into full remembrance. We see our society transformed by that part of the decade, by 2030. And perhaps sooner, it's up to humanity. 2016 is going to be a huge, huge year, a transition year, if you will, as we turn that corner and we can start to see the river through the woods. It will be our choice as a collective as to how quick we put these new thought forms into place. We start manifesting a better, as a collective, we start manifesting a better reality for our planet. Understanding each other, loving each other, transparency. Transparency because there is no judgment. There is limited ego. Greed falling by the wayside. Detaching from those old paradigms of thinking. We could move this thing quicker. Humanity could move this thing quicker. On the current timeline we are on right now, which can change by the second, the loony Lyran, though, is getting the impression that it's going to be a quick process, but we're looking at possibly a 10 to 12 to 15 year process which is really a blink of an eye in the span of time, 3D time, that illusionary 3D time that has been forced upon the planet. It is really a blink of an eye. So much is going to happen. So many great bonds are going to be built. So many great memories are going to be had. So much love is going to be shared by just staying focused and taking it one now moment by now moment not taking our eye off the prize, which the prize is awakening and love for all humanity as a collective. And our star family is loving this. They would love nothing more than to see us do this. We are watched by many star galaxies, many star nations, many different dimensions are tuned in and are excited on the edge of their seat like it's been told before by many others. It's true, they really are. You are an antenna. You are like a radio station. Once you realize it, then get full of it, you will understand that you can tune into various frequencies out there, various dimensional entities, various star groups, star beings from various star nations, Various motherships, lightships, like from the Pleiades, Arcturus, Sirius, Procyon, Lyra. The Lyra and the Pleiadian energies are really, 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 really going to be coming into the forefront, more so than they ever have. The Lyran energies, as the ancestors to the Pleiadians, our ancestors here on Earth, the Lyran energies will start to come in more and more to people as you're seeing more Lyran channelers, more Lyran downloads as the Lyran elders, our human family and our human cat family from the constellation of Lyra will be here more and more from an elder guides person standpoint if you will to ensure that humanity has every single possible opportunity and chance to push this thing through and to achieve super consciousness without achieving false light, higher 4D consciousness just through technical gadgets and manipulation. <sighs> the Looney Lyran wishes everybody out there to again stay in their heart center show love put yourself in the person's position that you're talking to whether it's something joyful that they have to tell you something happy in their life they just got a new car they just got married graduated from college a new job excited about a new home whatever it may be Relish in that with them. 
relish, relish in that joy with them. On the same token as well, show empathy and understand when someone is feeling down and someone just needs somebody to talk to or vent to. It doesn't mean that you have to invest your life into them and lower down to that vibration of sympathy. It means that you'll be an empath, stand in your power, listen. Don't get caught up in wanting to try to solve other problems and frustrated because you can't. It's not important. It's more important that you just show your love and guidance and be there for them when they have a question or be there for them if they have somebody to vent to or need somebody to vent to, I should say. At the same time, remain in your own zone. Stay focused. Have your detectors on high at all times. And don't use any judgment. Just think things through now moment by now moment. Don't jump ahead. Enjoy the now moment. Focus in the now moment. And that will help lay the way for future now moments. The Lunar Lyran loves all you. Loves my star family. Loves all my star family on Facebook. My star goddess sisters and my star broskies. And I just want to close by saying, I love you all so much. And we're all in this together. We're in this together. Humanity is in this together. The universe is in this together. And creation is in this together. Namaste. And here's to a blessed and loving 2016 for us all.